Hello everyone and welcome to this follow-up video on the battery performance of iOS 13.3. So for many years I've seen comments in the videos that it does take about a week for battery performance to optimize itself after an iOS update. I have always been kind of skeptical on that statement as I've never personally had bad battery life after I updated. If I do a full restore and download a backup from iCloud, well then that's a different story. I get terrible battery life for a few days. But anyway, so I decided to do the battery test again 8 days after I updated the devices to iOS 13.3. In those 8 days they were just sitting idling with power connected and then used once for the iOS 13.3.1 beta 1 speed test. Let's run the battery test again and see if it will turn out some different results this time around. So I'm just finishing up checking that the auto brightness is set to off on all devices and the battery health is at 100% on all devices and then we will get the battery test on its way. So all set to go, let's cut the power to the devices in 3, 2, 1, go!
there you have the scores, and I do apologize for the slide coming up. It is quite busy. But I must admit that these results came as quite a surprise for me. So the scores at the top, iOS 13.3 first, are the ones from the video that I did eight days ago. The ones marked iOS 13.3 second are the ones in this video. If we start out with the iPhone 6s, XR and 11 Pro, their performance did not increase dramatically. The 6s is exactly the same, the XR gains 10 minutes and the 11 Pro only gains 5 more minutes. But if we look at the iPhone SE 7, 8 and 11, there are some big improvements. The SE adds 24 minutes, the 7 a whopping 36 more minutes, the 8 gains 30 more minutes and the 11 gains 19 more minutes. So the conclusion could be that battery life does improve over time after an update. However, I'm still confused as to why it does not apply for the 6S and why the gain is not as big for all models. But looks like going forward battery videos will be 8 days delayed after an iOS update. That's a wrap for this video, thanks for watching, please remember to subscribe and like, over and out.